Hey everybody, Solar Warlock coming to you guys with a brand new Let's Play. Now, as you guys have known, I have done plenty of Spyro games. I've done the first trilogy. I've done Enter the Dragonfly. I have done so much. So, without further ado, let's dive into a game that I've never played on the Game Boy Advance. Ah, uh, this is The Legend of Spyro, A New Beginning. I never played the Game Boy Advance version, but... I did play it for the PS2 back when it had come out, so I'm hoping this game is, is good on the GBA. Oh, and you actually have to push start. Uh, options. Okay, music, sound. Display Game Boy Advance SP, well, obviously. Okay. Hey, no. No, no, no. Oh yeah, that's uh, not something I want to do, but okay. New game. Wait, what? Okay, we're on new game, right? I don't get it. Okay, the yellow, the, the orange is highlighting. In the year of the dragon, in a world beyond the realms, I, like all the others... I cannot read that. Whoa, something about a birth of a dragon. Okay, for some reason the text is all screwed up. Hey, it's a dragon. I honestly don't get what's going on with the text though, guys. I really don't. I am hoping that that is not going to be a reoccurring issue. Okay. Come on. Mom said we'll have to hurry. The bulb spiders are wrecking her mushroom patch. Okay, so you can double jump by pressing A. Uh, looks like B is a melee attack, and if you do it in the air, you do like a spin. L and R don't do anything, and start just pauses the game, and select does absolutely nothing. Jump over this whole spiral, press A to j Okay, he's just gonna tell us exactly what we did. Yeah, double jump. Jump over the lip. Oh, okay, you can grab onto ledges, that's cool. Flapper wings, double jump, and then hold the A button. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Oh, we got ultimate platform, and this is actually cool. I like the 2D version of this. Oh, and that's a save point, I guess, or like a checkpoint? Yeah, I bet I can't break it. I thought Sparks in this game was really weird and muscular, though Elijah Wood did play Spyro, which I did like. That's not at all what I want to do. Die, fool! Yeah. Gems also heal you, I believe. Which is really weird because it also gives you the ability to do other stuff. That's a frog weed. Oh, you dare attack me, frog weed? Yeah, because in the uh, PlayStation 2 version, they also had health bars. Which is kind of interesting, in my opinion. Okay, screen two. Some more frog weed we gotta take care of here. Man, why is my attack so delayed every time I get to the next enemy? Yeah, it doesn't look like I can get up there, so I'm gonna have to go down here. Whoa, a bulb spider, okay. Looks literally just like a mushroom. It's like if Toad was a mushroom. Oh yeah, that was scary. What is this? Oh. Okay, that was actually death goo. I totally didn't see that it was goo until I jumped down. Now, there's like no charge yet. I believe in this game you unlock all your powers. You also have like a lot of elemental powers, and it's just a really weird, crazy game. But it is really fun. I do apologize for the text at the beginning being all screwed up. I'll probably have like a, a blurb that tells you like what it is, like in the description. That way, uh, you guys don't miss out. Everything seems to take about three hits at this point in the game. Oh no, these guys take like five. No, stop. Turn that way, Spyro. Thank you, man. Uh, uh, uh. Now, do I go down this way, or do I... Okay, yeah, I go down this way. I don't want to trigger the checkpoint yet. I want to go see what's up here first. 
Ah, random frog. Ooh, more gems. Yeah, gems in this game aren't so much money as they are, like, ways to, like, upgrade and this and that. It's a totally different game concept than most Spyro games are. A Hero's Tale was the only other one before this to actually ever do anything different with gems. It was literally solely to buy stuff. There wasn't actually, like, a gem completion thing, so sometimes you actually had to grind out gems on enemies. And it was kind of a hassle, to be honest with you. It wasn't the end. Why was that checkpoint? Oh, it's like a little mini boss fight with some bald spiders. I'm cool with that. Oh, you're gonna have a lot of them, eh? Oh, I'm fine. Ah! Bald spiders are really easy to avoid taking damage from, though. Probably gonna have one more. Nope. Oh, well, there's one right here. And a frog weed. Now, frog weed, on the other hand, are a little annoying to fight. Because of the fact of that they have like a long tongue that like stretches out and lashes in your face. I bet some women would love that tongue. Okay, guys, don't 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 get the video. Uh, uh demonetized. I, I wouldn't want that. Can't really do a lot of dirty jokes anymore, which is kind of sad because there's like so many dirty jokes you can make. But yeah, whatever YouTube wants, you got to abide by their rules, eh? Family friendly. Okay, the mushroom patch is just over here. Sounds cool. Whack a bulb spider. Hit each bulb spider as it pops up from the ground. Whack them all. Uh, press that and that to a sprout. Eight a whack. Okay. Okay. Um, that is very. I don't like the controls. Like it's hard to tell what direction you're going in. I didn't think I got that one, honestly. What? Oh, I ran out of time. Oh yeah, this is weird. Totally didn't have to uh, do this in the uh, PlayStation version. I guess they had to add their own like mini games to this, so you guys could like have a game to play. Ugh. You gotta remember, it's like a clock, so you gotta go in the direction the clock ticks in. You barely have enough time! And we just get a bunch of random gems. Good job with those bob spiders, we should head home now before it gets dark. Okay, so... That was like our main... Man, how far is your mom away from... <laughs> her garden? How is it even her garden? It doesn't look like it's on her property anymore. Also, ball spiders do like no damage. They're really weak enemies. I got an itchy. Let me just scratch it. Man, I hope we really get some more powerful attacks. Like, we do so little damage to enemies, it's not even fun. See? Darn frog weed. You and your very painful lashes. A thousand lashes upon you and your family. Oh, this is a checkpoint. So then what's down here exactly? Ah, it's some gems. Another bulb spider, I guess, if you want some more gems from it. Like, we have yet to see what gems do for us. Ugh. Ugh. Hey, there we go. I actually really enjoy this game. This is a really fun game, though I really wish we had a charge mechanic at this point. Though at least they made it so you don't walk really slow. I always hated when games did that, where you like, walk exponentially slow. And it's like, yo, I'm actually moving like a turtle here, man. Oh, we got more insta-death goo. But the death, the death time takes way too long in this, like it's so delayed. It's like, I'm already dead. Okay, green gems don't heal you. What about... Eh, that didn't really help either. But okay. Totally something down here. Oh, bunch of enemies. Okay. Okay, I don't know what color gem I just picked up, but it heals you. I think red ones heal you. 
Uh, we're starting to get a blue bar filling up. I don't know if that's like our magic bar or what, but it's getting there. Oh yeah, melee! Spyro Melee. The new and improved spiral fighting game that never existed in the first place. Is that Death Goo? No, it's not Death Goo. Oh. We actually gotta use the mechanic to go down. Oh, you can only... Thanks for the- oh god, the screen's so shaky there. I don't even know what- wow, a lot of gems! Okay, yeah, the blue bar, I don't know what it's actually doing. It's not filling up by the gems. God, these things have so much HP. They're like miniature tanks all in their cells. Now, I don't know which way we're supposed to go, but that was really weird. Like, did you guys see that? I, like, got- Shot around there for a second. Ooh. Totally worth getting those, whatever they're for. Like I said, I don't know exactly. I feel this is the way we're supposed to go. So I think we're gonna have to go back and see what's down there. Spider scream! Since when do spiders scream like that? Oh, it's literally just for some frog weed, okay. I don't think you wanna get high off of that weed. You might croak. Get it? Yeah, I'm not gonna explain the joke. Ah, there we go. Ah, oh, we're not out of the woods yet. Boink. Ow! Thanks a lot, Frogweed. I notice Frogweeds drop a lot of health all the time. Bob spiders, not so much, but they drop money. Ooh. I didn't totally realize that this wasn't the way I had to go, so totally awesome gem collecting. Uh, so many of these spiders. Oh yeah. Okay, with that we can go up here. <sighs> yep. Some frogweed. If you catch them while they're jumping, they're pretty much goners. I'm gonna go the way without the darn um, spiders. Oh, this oh, checkpoint. So we have to go this way. I'm glad they give us a lot of checkpoints, but at the same time, this doesn't really seem that difficult unless you fall in the goo. Ooh, lots of gem clusters. I hope we get fire. And I do believe you're not allowed to use your fire attack at infinitum like you were... Well, you never could, it was just a quick flame, but I believe you do run out in this game. Oh, baboon. Got you, you little snat! Er... Uh, why did I say snat? It's a gnat. Ha ha ha. Spiral, help me! Hold the R button to use your fire breath. Okay. Ooh. Cinder soldier. Yeah, Cinder's an enemy in this game. Okay. Cinder leader. Here, let's smack him around a few times. Fire doesn't really help. Arrgh! Thanks, Spyro. I thought I was a goner. You almost toasted me, too. I don't know what happened. I just got angry and fire came out. Because you're a dragon and think through dynamite. <gasps> oh, great. Now we got cinder soldiers everywhere, which are the toughest death. Oh, a cinder leader all of a sudden. God, these guys have so much health. <laughs> they sound so whiny when they die. It's, it's actually really hilarious. Do they stay damaged? I think they do. Yeah, they do. It just can't get up there. <laughs> fire doesn't actually do much. Oh, I think green gems recharge your fire. Okay, I think he died. Oh, now he did. There better be a lot of gem clusters up here. There are literally nothing. Oh, 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 wait. Actually, can I make that with just by gliding? No, I see what you're supposed to do. Also, there's some twinkles over there. I'm not sure what they do. What you're supposed to do is do that. I got it now. And our fire breath is all charged up again. Oh, I get it's mom and dad. Mom, dad, you should have seen what Spyro did. He breathes fire. 
Uh, okay. Apparently the dialogue is getting all glitchy again. That's weird. Be careful, boys. Aw, oh, Mom. We'll be careful, I promise. Where are we going now? It's super effective. Okay, I will not lie. Fire Breath is not powerful at all in this game. Like, it is beyond weak, man. Like, like, look at that. Like, it literally does nothing. And it burns out really fast, too. That's the thing. Ow. Like, and you don't have warning when it's just gonna stop. Oh yeah, I guess once their health stops going down is when, you know, you should stop. Ugh, smack them around a few times. Ah, and another checkpoint. I don't get exactly where we're going because, you know, I was not allowed to read that dialogue. Once again, I'll have all the missing dialogue in the description below of this LP. Ah, uh, something's wrong with my game. And I'm not playing this on emulator either. I'm actually playing this on my actual Game Boy, but for some reason, it must be a bootleg, and it just sucks that way. Yeah, these things, like, take no damage from my fire breath at all. They don't even drop you a lot, at least, unless, unless this game doesn't really have, like, a, a total, it just, like, always drops three gems from enemies and crystals. Okay, watch, always three. You like something special if you defeat them with your fire breath. Ah, you just incinerate them. It doesn't really do anything for you, though. You don't even need to stay to pick up the gems. They come to you anyway. See? Yeah, I don't know if those other ones came to me. Oh, they, yeah, they did. Uh, give me my gems, fool. I need to be the richest dragon in all of the land. Now this is kind of like an RPG meets platformer, I guess, in this game, but in the original it was like a third person RPG without timed battles or turn taking about. Kind of like more like modern Final Fantasy games. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's not a leader. Oh, Cinder Commander. Oh yeah, eat this, man. Just corner him until he's defeated. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And we're still ongoing throughout the swamp. Man, what is going on? Ow, he actually got through there. Oh, because I'm technically two enemies, but... Corner him and destroy him. Your commander has been defeated. Why are you still here? Stand down, troops. Oh, you can actually get knocked off of this. Okay. Cool. Oh man, they keep counteracting my attacks. Well, counter counterattacking, I guess. Okay, their team T is kind of getting annoying now. I need health, not fire. Fire is little for me, man. Look, look at that. It's literally the same as me punching them and kicking them and stuff and whatever else I do. I'm a dragon. I don't really know what I'm doing. Looks pretty dark in there, Spyro. Don't be a scaredy fly. Uh, this is not any darker than any other cave that we've been in. Though, we get some really easy enemies to defeat again. Maybe get our health back after... Nope. Apparently enemies are getting smarter. And that includes these bulb spiders. Now they know you're a dragon in this game, but they didn't want to tell you and this and that, so... I don't know if they've said that yet, but... Like I said, we don't get to read the dialogue. It's really annoying. We only get to read the small conversation. <gasps> oh my god, a dragon! Hello? It can't be, you're alive. Ah, it's a monster! 
Hardly that, my young friend. I am Ignitus, guardian of fire. I can hardly believe my eyes. The purple dragon lives. Purple dragon? What am I? A purple dragon is born only once every ten generations. A special creature of incredible power. Spyro? Special? Very much so. We're at war with Cinder, an evil dragon, slave to the Dark Master. You must help us. But what can I do? Voltir, the Guardian of Lightning, has been captured by the Ice King. You must free him so he can help us fight the Dark Master. I'll do what I can. Oh, brother, here we go. And we're on a journey. Before you set out, there are things you need to learn about your powers, young one. Complete the challenges Ignitus has set to learn about your abilities. These power stones will grant you protection of the ancestors. Move up to the checkpoint to save your progress. Okay, so I guess we can now just save the game. So, in the next episode, we will continue to learn our powers. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.